Hey everyone, thanks for joining me today and welcome to my 12 days of Christmas DIY. Today I have this really cute wood cutout that I picked up from Hobby Lobby. 40% off. I've had it for a couple days. I decided this is what I'm going to do today is decorate this wood cutout and make it look really cute. I've got this folk art paint. It's extra glitter. It's really pretty. It's peridot. Perfect color. Lots of glitter. Lots of shine. And my cute and adorable gingerbread ornaments that I also got from Hobby Lobby that were 50% off. And these cute little ones, mini ornaments. These little mini ones go on the little mini trees. But this is going on my wood cutout tree. I'm also going to be using my cute little candy canes. Those are also for the mini trees. Mini ornaments for the small little tabletop trees. And look at these. Aren't these adorable? Cute little mini gingerbread tree, gingerbread person, gingerbread people. All were ornaments that I cut the strings off of them. They're also for the little mini trees, but they're going on my wood cutout tray today. I also have my little bling tray here with all my different colorful little um, flat back rhinestones. These are the plastic ones, but they're perfect for this particular project. So that's what I'm going to be using for this. So I've also got my wood glue. So I'm going to go ahead, prep this thing, get it all ready and get started. Okay, so I'm done with this. I'm gonna go ahead and let this dry and I'm going to apply another coat of the green paint off camera and then when it's fully dry, I'll be back to decorate. Okay, a few hours has passed, everything is dry. It took all together about three coats for the tree to look really pretty. And so now all I'm going to do is add the wood glue and place all my ornaments on the wood cutout.
Okay, so as you can see, my little gingerbread house wouldn't stay put, so I had to take it off, wipe off the wood glue. And the reason for that is because it only has a little bit of space at the base of my tree to hold on to. There's nothing to support the back of it while it dries. It would definitely hold it. Um, if I had to put something underneath it so that it could um, stay in place as it dried. So I just took it off just to go ahead and finish putting the rest of my little ornaments on my um, wood tree. And I'm going to use, what I ended up using is my heat gun because that dries instantly. And so that was easier than, than just what I was doing before with the wood glue. Okay, so I am done. I only had one little issue and it was very little. I had to use my glue gun to stick the gingerbread house to the base because the wood glue wasn't sticking. It would have worked if I had something to support it while it was drying, but I needed this to dry instantly. So that's why I had to use the glue gun. But other than that, it's perfect. It's so cute, it's adorable, it's fun. And you can do this with your kids. I painted the back brown, which is just a basic brown color, nothing nothing fancy. But yeah, you can do this with your kids. You can just do this as a family project. It's all up to you how you want to decorate your tree. This was fun. So I'll probably pass this on to my grandkids. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed my 12 days of Christmas. I have a lot more coming, a lot more videos to show. So make sure you subscribe, like, hit the notification bell so you know when I'm uploading another Christmas 12 days of Christmas DIY. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. I appreciate your time. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.